What's going on everybody? My name is Brett Vile and this is the North American Model 1 Sega Saturn. Now I'm not going to go into a long drawn out history lesson of the Sega Saturn. If you guys are here watching this, you probably know about it by now. If you don't, hey, that's what Wikipedia is for. Now I am very fond of the Saturn. This is one of my all time favorite consoles. Now unfortunately, during uh, this generation time frame, I pretty much missed out on this whole generation console. The Saturn, the PlayStation, the Jaguar, and the N64. Now at that time, I almost bought the Netlink bundle, which came with a modem, a web browser, keyboard and mouse, and I think Sega Rally Championship. Now that bundle was right around $400 or so at the time, which was a lot of money back then. And uh, well, instead I ended up getting a PC. So during this generation, I was pretty much, you know, had the PC Master Race mentality, and I'd skipped all these other inferior, quote, uh, consoles. Now, by this time, I was in the military, and I was working night shift, and uh, I had a friend that had a Sega Saturn, and he would bring it in on night shift when we had some downtime, and we'd play stuff like Mortal Kombat, Myst, and Virtua Fighter. So I have a lot of fond memories about this gaming system, and uh, the Saturn was actually the, the console that got me back into playing, you know, gaming consoles instead of the PC. Right around the time that the Dreamcast was, was released, I ended up picking up a used Saturn at GameStop, and uh, that was it from there. Uh, from that, I went on to the Dreamcast, and I've been playing consoles again ever since. And ultimately, it was the Sega Saturn that got me into uh, collecting video games. So here in North America, we were pretty much limited to two models of the Sega Saturn. But overseas, especially Japan, there were a plethora of different model Sega Saturns. You had an off-colored gray one, uh, you had a white Sega Saturn, um, a couple different clear models, and kind of a bizarre practice that Sega of Japan was doing. They were licensing their consoles out to different companies and they were putting their own brands on them. Uh, you had brands like Hitachi with a couple different models, including a really bizarre but cool navigation unit. Uh, Samsung in Korea had, a, had their branded Saturn. And that leads me to what I've got in the box today. Oh man, I am excited to get this thing open. I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on uh, one of these units. Here's the V Saturn by Victor. Alright, let's open this thing up and see what we got. Now, uh... From the auction pictures, it looked to be in pretty good condition. So the seller packaged it pretty well. We got a bag here with the uh, AV connectors. Looks like he put a battery in there for me, so that's pretty cool of him. We got the controller, which uh, should be a Victor branded controller. Let's get this thing open here. Yep, so that's the Victor controller. It looks in pretty good shape. Uh, there's some discoloration on the uh, the cable. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Alright, let's get this thing out. Yes. There it is, the V-Saturn. Multi-amusement player. So there is a VCD add-on for this thing that'll play... Uh, video discs kinda like a DVD but a little bit worse quality very nice real good condition look at that it even has the battery door still on it that's awesome I'm missing the one on my uh, my model 1 Saturn So you can see this Model 2 unit next to my Model 1, and you can see some subtle differences. The buttons, uh, there's an access light that's missing, and uh, just a few cosmetic features. And here's the controllers side by side. There's a quite a big difference between the two controllers. Now North America finally did adapt the shape uh, of the Japanese controller, but honestly, I, I kind of prefer the original one that we got here in the U.S. So one thing to note, uh, the Model 1 Saturns are a little bit harder to mod. The mod ship um, 
It's not easily found anymore. So if I recall, the Model 1 Saturns have one less connector from the CD to the main board. So if you want a Sega Saturn to mod, you're better off probably getting the version 2. Alright, I think it's about time we hook this thing up and check it out. Alright, so let's compare the startup screens between the two systems. So I gotta apologize for that buzzing noise. Um, I have my Saturn running through an AV to HDMI converter. So for some reason my recorder doesn't pick up the signal if I run it straight to my recording box. It's giving off a weird like buzzing sound on the on the North American Saturn. So here's the Victor Saturn. So they put their own little music in the startup screen. That's pretty cool. And that's a little bit different too. That uh that little that little uh, song it played. Alright, first up, let's try Salamander Deluxe Pack. If you're not familiar with Salamander, you should be. It's Life Force. Just a few different versions of Salamander and Life Force. All right, we're gonna play Life Force. I'm gonna try to shut up during all this so you can hear the music and sound effects. Up next, uh, one of the best wrestling games ever made, Fire Pro Wrestling Six Man Scramble. So I'm actually thinking about doing a full review of this game. Alright, what kind of match are we going to pick here? Yeah, how about... I like gruesome fighting too, that's like UFC. A death match. It's always fun. I mean, of course I gotta turn the AI down a little bit. I haven't played this game forever. Alright, let's find uh, WCW and WWF. That should be right there. There's Hulk Hogan, Sting, Muda, one of the Steiners, Gold Dust. Uh, let's pick the Hulkster. The Undertaker. All 
All right, so deathmatch is electrified barbed wire cage. Pretty awesome. Give up. I wish I had somebody else here, like a friend or something. We could do like a mock commentary or something. That'd be pretty fun. God, he's busted open. And just in case you were wondering, it will play US games with an action replay. Here is a great fighter on the Saturn. Fighters make a mix. It's basically a crossover with Virtua Fighter and Fighting Vipers with some other weird stuff thrown in. Fight the hookers. One of them, anyways. Fight. So I do pick BM because he is the cheapest guy in here. You can finish the whole game with just him, no problem. All right, so we're gonna try to uh, put her through the wall and knock her clothes off. <laughs> oh man, I love this game. This was one of the first games I got when uh when I finally got my Saturn. I was so impressed with this game. We got the top off. Nice. Very cool game. I think that just about does it though. Alright guys, so that is the JVC Victor Sega Saturn. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright guys, so I'm not one of these channels that does e-begging. I don't have a Patreon. I don't want you to send me stupid, sh you know, stupid stuff. Um, if you want to support the channel, something as simple as leaving a like. Um, or even subscribe, you know, that really helps out a lot. And I gotta be honest, anytime I see that subscription count, you know, go up one or two, I die just a little bit less inside. <laughs> Alright guys, see ya.